when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, go Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't Hello and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Thought I'd try a different intro this morning. Shock everybody. I know. So a bit early. In case you haven't been here before, I'm Hayley and this is Richard. And we cruise around on our white beam van. <laughs> don't know why he finds that quite so funny. Cruise around. We do. And uh, we are today. it's one of those funny days today. It's sort of warm but drizzly. Yeah, I mean it's 20 degrees in here. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's, it's very overcast. Yeah. Uh, but when the sun hits you it's really really warm. So typical English May I guess. Um, it's dusty at the moment as well. I'm calling it dusty season. Dusty season. Dusty season. It's very dusty. Yeah. And you get them fluffy things come off the trees. Yeah, I don't know what the little get a lot things of them. are, but there's fluff everywhere, white fluff. But it is starting to be fish in the marina season. Definitely. Lots yeah. of fish coming in the marinas for spawning, it's well good. Yeah. Yeah, I've um, seen loads of spawning. I saw a massive. Oh, that's um, a pike. Yeah, pike. a big pike. And I saw, there's about six or seven carp today. Wow. Big ones and then little ones. Yeah, so they, they're, they're coming in. Yeah, what they do is they um, come in and they bash um, themselves on the side of the boat, don't they, to release yeah. their eggs? All along the margins of the islands, they're all in there splashing around. It's yeah. really, it's cool to watch. Because we first experienced it last year and didn't know what on earth was going rower. on. It's, um, oh, rower. It's them so. spawning. So yeah, the rowers are out in full force today. So uh, Margaret will be pleased, hi Margaret. <laughs> um, and a little bit of a mix it up vlog today. So a little bit of cruising. Um, and then we're gonna show you an ingenious idea a bit later that was uh, suggested to us back a few weeks ago when we were in Cookham. And we went past a boat and he was sort of shouting something at us and then he... Uh, not abuse. No, not abuse. <laughs> <laughs> and he left a comment on our YouTube channel for this amazingly ingenious idea. So we're going to show you that later. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief Better see what the negativity But I just slide right by that energy even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go So we've just been through Sudbury Lock And whilst we were in the lock, there was um, a little boat with an outboard And um, it was called Social Distance yeah. Which is absolutely brilliant because um, our well first boat, our first it? little boat, first little boat back in the times of sort of lockdown when you could go out um, with a certain amount of people etc. We um, bought a little boat with an outboard. Um, used to just go up and down the bays in the Stoke Canal, and yeah. it was called Social Distance. Yeah, and. Um, we used to get laughs all the time. Do oh, uh, back then, yeah, because yeah. it was like the height of it all, wasn't it? Yeah. So you're allowed out, but you had to social distance. Yeah. Yeah, and there's our boat saying it. It was uh, all the time, wasn't it? Yeah. It was hilarious. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. coming out or at least Here one we go com again. comical vlog coming out because we have made plans to go back down the river way 
Uh oh. <laughs> I feel some tree bashing coming on again. Oh uh, yeah. Um, we're going to go to the entrance of Basingstoke. Um, the plan is, obviously plans don't always go well, but the plan is to meet our friends who have a narrow boat at the entrance of the Basingstoke. And we're going to do a little um, cruise down the Basingstoke. Well, we're going to spend the night at the end of it, at the start of it, aren't we? Yeah, start and the And then do two days. Down the Basingstoke Canal. So I can't feel it was now. Somebody did ask if we'd ever do the Basingstoke. Um, it might be John actually. Um, so yes, we are going to attempt some of it. Um, not much of it. No. Not much. We've only got two days, haven't we, really, on there. Yeah. And we're not going to break our necks trying to get as far as we can because there's so many locks at the start. Yeah. Right. No. Yeah, on the um, app, uh, Richard said, oh, that's right, there's only six locks. There was six locks and then there was nothing for ages. No, I was so like, oh, that's great. So it numbered one to six and then went to 28 or something? Yeah, it's right. Hang on a minute, there's something weird. wrong there on their app. Yeah, so when we looked in the, the Book of Lies, which didn't lie this time. No, um, and it's lock, 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 lock. Yeah, <laughs> but there no. are a lot of locks. So we haven't got the time. A flight as well, isn't oh, there? Oh, deep cut deep flight. Cut yeah, flight, we, yeah, we haven't got the time to in two days to do all that. No, but we will attempt we'll some the, of it. I think we're doing about eight. And um, I'm sure it will be much amusement. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, not for me. That's yeah. been a few weeks' time, so uh, yeah, look out for that one. <laughs> You got a mind, but even that could change You could flip the grey matter like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say, fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game, then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst I say and turn them to a game Take the best I say and put them on display On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain It's quite amazing because we've been up and down this stretch of the river And obviously beyond for over a year now and you still learn new things all the time when Richard got chatting to somebody and we've just been passed it's called the Astoria Music Studio um, it was a floating home and it's been converted to a recording studio we thought it was a restaurant but we never, did, yeah. never busy <laughs> no no um, and it's owned by David Gilmore from Pink Floyd yeah. And he converted it, I want to say, I think he bought it in something like 1980 and converted it in 1986. All right, quite a while ago then. Yeah, so uh, all sorts of stuff must happen on that floating recording studio. It's We're trying to find some pictures of the inside. Yeah. Because I've heard rumours that the bathroom has got a massive copper bath. Oh, wow. So we'll, we'll try and find some pictures online or see if anybody's got any. Yeah. We'll put them up. Exciting. Love learning new stuff. Never slow yourself down, you can do some more. Push past, start a pain, and you'll find a door. Open it up, and finally explore everything that you thought you could never do before. Uh, and even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, go. up at Kingston. Bailey's gone off for a walk and you can just see there's uh, some rowers 
hovering outside our window. <laughs> um, so we're going to go off to the shops, get a few bits, and then we'll show you our uh, ingenious uh, plan. So Richard just did a heroic gesture. Oh, yeah. There was a little oh. electric boat, um, <laughs> literally, what, did the engine stop working? Oh, I don't know what I'd done. They'd just crashed into the side of us whilst we're moored up. And then for some reason, their engine's out of the water and just going around like a propeller. <laughs> and they're looking at it going, oh, it won't go backwards. <laughs> it needs to be in the water, really. <laughs> so uh, we just tossed them a rope and uh, pulled them alongside our boat and, yeah, uh, yeah helped sort them out. So yeah. bless them, they're off on their way. They did, say, going now. they did say, would you like to come with us? We're like, no, no you're we'll, okay. we'll stay here, thanks. Yeah. I don't know why their engine's out of the water. No. I don't know why they pulled it up. Because, <laughs> of course, know. you pull it up and you let go. It won't go back down because the little foot locks uh, it in position because it thinks you're going to travel. But they didn't realise no, that. No. And they couldn't find the thing to pull. <laughs> oh, well, they're anyway. gone now. <laughs> so this little ingenious plan comes in two parts. So some time ago, oh. we, <laughs> we video... I, I brief him. I brief him and then he forgets within seconds. <laughs> There's nothing ingenious about the plans we have. <laughs> That's why. So some time ago, <laughs> um, we tried the double glazing film on our porthole and our bow doors. Bow doors, brilliant. Porthole, brilliant, actually. <laughs> but we were going to perhaps put it on all of the windows, but we didn't in the end because... <laughs> Well, firstly, we couldn't be bothered, <laughs> if I'm honest. And secondly, um, we want to save up and buy some double glazed windows. We also didn't know if you want to take it off, whether it ruins sort of the paintwork. So we are going to just try mm -hmm. and attempt to take it off the porthole. So let's see whether it does actually oh, ruin no, it or not. Look. So I guess you just pull it. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the sticky st still. The problem is the sticky still on it. Yeah. I'm gonna peel that off. No. Okay, so we'll try and peel off the <laughs> sticky at another time. Here we go. Now we were. It was last time we were at Cookham, so a few weeks ago, um, and we were trying to moor at Marsh <laughs> Meadow. Oh, yeah. And uh, there were no moorings there, but this guy was sort of shouting to us from his boat, the Grey Goose. Don't, didn't know, don't know what the guy's name is. Um, and then he commented on our YouTube video and said um, what I was trying to say, he had noticed our fly netting that we've put up, um, and brilliant idea, absolutely brilliant idea. This is what it is. <laughs> I'm going to go and get it. Okay, brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I feel like I'm doing the big reveal here. You are in the, in the room of mirrors. Yep. Okay. This. It's so basically, it's one of those frying pan splatter screens. And they fit in the portholes. Perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. It has to be a 40 centimetre one. Well, if you've got a boat like ours, obviously. Yeah, and you've, you've got the to... same size windows. Yes. They so just you literally plonk them in. It is absolutely ingenious. So, do you want to remove the window, Richard? You can do this one. Okay. Yeah. Well, since we're here. And you literally take the glass out. Take the glass out. Pop that back in its place. Really easy. It's really easy. <laughs> <laughs> I did the other one really easy uh, before. Um, Why can't I do this one easy? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. Anyway, it is really easy. Hold on. There we go. We, sorry, we had to have a bit of a fiddle. Um, They're a little bit tight, but they just do pop in. Yeah, and literally, look. And nothing can get around the edge. Leave that edge out a little bit so that you can get your fingers on there to get it back out. So, yeah, literally, in the height of the summer months, you can pop that in, pop the windows out, 
And I mean, I can feel the, the air coming through now. It's absolutely fantastic. Obviously, it only works on portholes. He did mention somebody that can make them to order. So if you've got um, rectangular windows or different sizes, so um, I'll try and find that and put a link in the description. He did say that you can manage to get your glass in as well if your windows are single glaze. You'd have to take um, out the double glaze fitting or the yeah. single glaze fitting in the bottom. Yeah, so there's some little sort of plasticky bits, isn't there, that you'd have to pop those out, I think, in order to do that. Um, but he did say you can't shut the window. Um, but, I mean, I think, really, these are really good for summer when you want your windows out. I mean, look at that. Yeah. It just looks like a little button in the middle of the window. It's ingenious. The things that boaters come up with, like the other uses for things, it just it wows me completely. <laughs> so that was a little bit of cruising <laughs> and a little bit of um, DIY-ish. Or <laughs> we still got to try and get the sticky off. We do have to get. I've got some sticky stuff remover, so we'll try that and maybe try heating just it up, like you up. said. Yeah. yeah, a little warm water, perhaps. So hopefully um, you've found, found that useful. Oh, you can get the, um, those from eBay. And that's the only place that I've managed to find the 40 centimetre yeah, ones so yeah. far. I have searched um, and they seem to be, yeah, quite eBay. rare. You can get 20 centimetre ones. That's a big frying pan. It is a very big frying pan. More like a wok, wok yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, there you go. So like always, give us that cheeky little like. You come on, you can join in. Okay. <laughs> Peer <Subs> pressure. <laughs> Subscribe to She'll our channel. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and ping the notification bell. Can't believe we just said that. You've got to smack the bell, haven't you? <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.